numbers. A gallon of water contains 128 fluid ounces. A rain barrel can hold 6400 ounces of rain water. How many gallons of water can be can the barrel hold? Now, when the word hold comes, okay, how much it can hold it? Not left over, but how much can it hold? In us, uh, then in that case, we always divide the bigger number with the smaller number in your cases. So we will divide 6400, okay. This is the rain water and now how much gallon of water it is holding the 6400 so we will divide it by 128. I told you that when you have the divisor for the three digits then we focus on the three digit dividend first. Now to my, make your life easy. <clears throat> Write here the times table. Now, of course, no one remembers the times table of 128. So, in that case, what do we do? We keep adding the 128 until we desire until we get the desired number. So, 8 plus 8 is 16. It one up and 5 and 1 plus 1 is 2, 256. This is our second answer. First is 128. Th second is 256 now again add 128 in it so you will get 14 <clears throat> 15678 and here 384 this is our third answer again 8 add 128 so 8 9 10 11 12 2 down 8 9 10 11 1 3 4 5 512 that is fourth answer Again add 128, so you will get uh, 640 with the fifth time. Now can you see that you already get the desired answer? So look at this 640. So how many times 640 goes in the table of 128? So you can see that 5 times. So we write 5 on the top. 5 times 180, 128 gives us 640. We get 0 minus 0, 4 minus 4 of 4, 0, 6 minus 6 is 0. Now this alone 0 left. So when a only alone the 0 left, then we put the 0 up. Why? Because if we write here 0 down, then it all becomes the 0. So you can say that about 50 gallons of water can the barrel hold. Or you can write like this, the barrel can hold 50 gallons of water. A liter of water from the Dead Sea has 250 grams of salt. A tank of simil similarly salted water holds 5750 grams of salt. How many liters of water are in the tank? Now, how much actually are in the tank means that how much liter water is in the tank if 250 grams of salt is over there, or is inside the water. So, let's see what we will do. We divide 5750 grams by 250 grams. <clears throat> so, if the water will be, will be on one side, then only the leftover will be your, will, uh, if the salt will be on one side, then the leftover will be your water. So now three digits outside, three digits inside. Let's try to add 250 plus 250, it gives us 500. Again make the 250, add it, you will get 750 and so on. So this is one time, two times, three times. You can do four and five, okay? Now let's see, it is 575. I have 500, I have 750. So in the division, I always go for the lower number. So I will write 2 times 250 gives you 500. I don't write 3 times 250 gives me 750 because 750 will be the bigger number. Now subtract, you will get 75. Bring the 0 down. Now look. 
if there is already a number and you are bringing the zero down in that case you will not write the zero up okay so now you know that 3 times 250 gives us 750 So now the question is how many liters of water are in the tank so there are 23 liters of water in the tank a clothing company has 4630 shirts to ship they can fit 130 shirts right the capacity like you remember that when they talk about some capacity capacity of a uh, box capacity of uh, of uh, tank capacity of uh, of a bottle okay so they are talking about some capacity so in that capacity you have to use the division okay so they fit in a box there is a capacity of 4630 shirts but they can fit in a box 130 shirt 30 shirts in a shipping box so in that case how many boxes are required <clears throat> look how many boxes are required so 4630 shirts can be produced by the company in one box there could be 130 shirts only so to find out the number of the boxes we divide now 130 add 130 in it so you will get 260 add 130 in this one so you will get 390 add 1 130 in that one it will gives us 520 then keep adding 130 okay four or five times so is five and here 650 again keep adding 130 so you will get 780 and so on now let's see here what i was writing i was keep adding the 130 to get my desired answers so it is one time then it is two time three times four times five times and six times let's try to understand outside the divisor is three digit so inside dividend select the dividend with the three digits 463 look i have 390 and i have 520 so i choose the lesser one so three times 130 gives us 390 i subtracted 3 minus 0 is 0 9 doesn't goes with the 6 so take one from here it gives you 3 16 minus 9 it will give us 7 bring this zero down now i have 780 i have 650 so i will choose the lesser one so 5 up and 650 down now 0 minus 0 is 0 5 doesn't goes with 0 so take borrow one from here it gives you 6 10 minus 5 is 5 now you can see that the 50 shirts left how to write it first this is our quotient what is left is because 50 is less than 130 you cannot divide more so this is called remainder what i write remainder means even if you pack all the shirts in the box 50 shirts will be left over so for 50 shirts you need another box which will be half filled how many boxes are needed to ship 35 boxes what does the remainder means remainder means that 50 shirts are left and they will be packed in other in other box let's try this first understand estimate and quotient estimate let's i said look at this what is the estimate of this thing let's see here how to estimate make the round off let's see here this is 7000 and on one side you have 8000 in the middle write the middle number of 7000 and 8000 that is 7500 now your number is 7371 does it goes on the left side or it goes on the right side it goes on the left side 7371 so when you 
round off you will take 7000 okay so you will have 7000 divided by now round off 189 look at this you have 100 you have 200 and in the middle it is 150 now where is 189 on the right side so if on the right side you will estimate 200 okay this is one task step. now divide it okay divide and write the answer let's see here we write 7000 inside and 2000 outside look uh, 200 outside now this is 3 and this is 3 write the table of 200 200 plus 200 gives us 400 plus 200 it gives us 600 plus 200 it gives us 800 and so on so one time two time three time and four time we need 700 where is the 700 between 600 and 800 so which one i will take i will take the lesser number so three times I will not take four times. I will take three times. Three times 200 gives us 600. Subtract 0 minus 0, 0 minus 0, 7 minus 6 is 1. Now this 0 is alone. If I write here 0, let's 0. I will not write up. Why? Because now this is a number, 1000. Okay. Now again make his 200. So it will gives us 1000. So, I have 5 times 200 gives us 1000. So, what is the estimate? The estimate is 35. Now, find out the actual one. Okay. So, let's try to find out the actual one. Let's try. Let me erase this. So, we will try to find out the actual one. Which means, I have to write the times table of 189 plus 189 so it will gives us 278 then again 189 18 so 72 and here 3 sorry okay now again 7 1 6 1 3 4 and 5 then again 3 4 times at least we have to do so 6 1 6 7 14 15 5 1 5 6 and 7 then again i will make one more time so 9 15 5 1 8 13 14 4 1 7 8 and 9 and again one time more make it okay 1 8 9 10 12 13 3 1 10 11 okay now let's figure out this is one time this is two times three times four times five times and six times okay let's try to divide it seven three seven one by one eighty nine now we will take the three digits where is seven thirty seven we have seven fifty six right which is bigger so i will take here 5, 6, 7. So, 3 up. 3 up. And I will write here 5, 6, 7. Minus 7, minus 7, 0. And then 13 minus 6. So, it will be 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. It will be 7. And 6 minus 5 is 1. Now, bring this 1 down. Okay, now we have 1134. It means you keep going on. Okay, so 1134 plus 189. So it will give us 3, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 2, 1, 3, and 1. Then again 189, 2, 1, 8, 9, 10, 11, 1, 1, 3, 4, 5, and 1. And again 189. 0, 1, 5, 6, and 7, and 1, 1, 7, 0, 1. So, how many times 1, 7, 0, 1? 1, 2, 3, 6, 6, and 3, it means 9 times. 1, 7, 0, 1. So, our quotient is 
39. Now, if you look and compare 35 and 39, so yes, the estimate is very close and reasonable. Let's try to solve question number 9. Pause the video and see the answer. What is the estimated answer? And also, what is your actual answer? Question number 9. So, first of all, let's see here. It is 5104. So, I have 5000 and I have 6000, right, for the estimating. And in the middle, I have 5500. Now, where does 5104 lie, uh, lie? It is less than 5500. So, it is over here. So, our estimated will be 5000. Now, check 116. So, estimate will be 100 and 200. In the middle, we have 150. So, 116 is near the 100. So, it would be 100 here. Now, let's try to divide the 5000 by 100. So, here. We know 100 times 5 gives us 500. Now, this 0, if I write it down, it will be alone, right? So, I put this 0 on the top. So, the answer is 50. Now, let's try the quotient with the actual one. So, we will have 5104 divided by 116. Let's try to write the table of 116. So, 2, 1, 3, 2. Then again 116. So, 8, 4, 3. Again 116. So, 14, 4, 1, 5, 6. Now, what I am writing with a very fast way, you need to solve it slowly, slowly because you are in grade 6 and it takes time to understand and write all the concepts, okay? And once you will make the practice, you will be the master of this one. Okay, I am writing, I am holding this one if it is enough for me. So, 510. 510 is here. Why? I will take the smaller number. So, it is 4 times 464 I will take. I will subtract. So, 10 minus 4 gives me 6. Here 0, borrow 1 from here. So, it will gives me, it will gives me 10 minus 6 is 4. Bring the 4 down, it gives you 464 and you can see 464 here. So, it is 4, four times 464. So, actual one is 44. So, 44 is also pretty close to the 50. Now, you do this question, question number 10 yourself and write the answer in the comment box. Now, these are the questions which carry the remainder also. So, one question, two questions I will do, the rest you will do. Look at this one. 64,110. Look at this. 64,000. 64,000 actually. And if we have this thing, we can make it as 60,000 and 70,000. Now, 64,000 and in the middle, 65,000. Okay. So, 64,000 is on this side. So, I will take it as 60,000 divided by. Now, 110. So, I have 100. Here, 150. Here, 200. 110 is over here. So, I will have 100 here. Now, divide. 60,000 divided by 100. So, three digits we will take. 6 times 600. I will have 0 here. Now, this 0, 1, 0, 2 zeros left. So, I will put two zeros on the top. So, my estimate is 600. Okay, let's try now. Make the quotient. Now, when we make the quotient, let's see here. I have to read the table of 110. So, 110 plus 110, it is 220. Then again 110, it is 330. Again 110, it will be 
फोर फोर जीरो अगेन वन वन जीरो इट विल बी फाइव फाइव जीरो अगेन वन वन जीरो इट विल बी सिक्स सिक्स जीरो एंड सो ऑन सो लेट्स ट्राई टू मेक दिस आंसर ओके लेट मी इरेज दिस पार्ट एंड लेट्स टू दिस पार्ट सो वी विल राइट हेयर सिक्सटी फोर थाउजेंड एंड आउटसाइड वी राइट वन टेन वी विल टेक द थ्री डिजिट्स सो थ्री डिजिट्स आई विल हैव हेयर सो इट इज वन टू थ्री फोर एंड फाइव सो आई नो दैट फाइव टाइम्स वन टेन गिवस मी फाइव हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी आई विल नॉट टेक द बिगर नंबर सब ट्रैक्ट सो फोर्टीन माइनस फाइव विल गिवस मी नाइन now bring one number down that is 10 down and make it then it will be 770 880 and 990 and so on now 990 is bigger so i will take 8 times 880 so it will be 2 now this zero bring it down and again i will take the small number so one time 110 so i will have 90 what is the quotient the quotient is this number right so it is 581 and what is the leftover leftover is said to be remainder so the remainder is 90 so what is the estimate of 3045 of course it is 3000 think yourself What is the estimate of eighty-five? It is one hundred. Now three thousand divided by hundred. It will gives us three hundred. It is a very direct answer. It will gives us thirty. Let's understand three thousand and here one hundred and three digits. So three times three hundred. We subtract this zero, which is alone. If we will write it up, so the answer is thirty. Now let's do the direct one by writing the eighty-five times table. I am just keep adding the eighty-five in my answer to get the pretty close answer. Nine, fourteen, four, one, three. Then again, eighty-five. So five, twelve, four. Then again, eighty-five. Let's suppose it is zero, one, five. Then again, eighty-five, five, nine, and five, and so on. Okay, let's try this one. Three zero four five inside, eighty-five outside. Now three zero four. Where is three zero four? I don't have the three zero four. I have three forty, right? So I will take. This is my two. This is my three. So three times two fifty five. I will take. Subtract. So this is one. This is two. This is one. This is three. This one is four, five, and six and seven. Okay, three times eighty-five gives me two fifty-five. Subtract. Now, you can't subtract the five from four, so borrow from one from the neighbor. But it has zero, so first give one to this one, then from here give one to this one. So fourteen minus five gives us nine. Nine minus five is four. Bring this five down. So four ninety-five we don't have. We have five ten. So we will take. Five times four twenty-five. Okay. Now what is it? Five minus five is zero. Nine minus two is seven. Now what is our quotient? Our quotient is thirty-five, and still our remainder is seventy. Now just try to practice more and more questions. Mr. Simons buy a car for the total cost of nine eight nine nine. dollar it mean 9899 dollars and he can pay in a month 206 per month but not more now before we solve this one that what he determines he determines that he will make the 49 payments 
is he correct or explain your reasoning now look at this when you have a large amount of money okay or anything okay anything or money or anything okay you want to distribute it among the people or you want to distribute that amount in per month or on week basis then you always divide the big number with the small number so he had the amount of the money that is 9899 and he want to pay 206 dollar per month so just divide that amount with that number before we do let's write the let's write the tables of 2000 206 so we have 412 206 we have 816 then again 206 428 then again 206 it will be 31030 am i right again 206 it will be 321 again 206 so it will be 2134 4 and 1 again 206 it is 6 again 206 it will be 4 5 again one more time 206 so 206 Okay so I wrote the times table of 2060 and we will choose from here so first of all three digits out three digits in 989 if the whole thing doesn't go then we take the smaller number so I can see the smaller number 824 one time two times three and four times so four times 824 nine minus four is five eight minus two is six And nine minus eight is one. Bring this nine down. Now one six five nine. I can see here. So it is five six and here seven and here eight. So eight times I will get one six four eight. Then it is still one. Then nine and eight. Okay, and here one. So eleven. so he cannot pay more than that one and he can pay 206 per month so how many months he can make he has to pay 48 payments and after that 11 dollars will be left which he can pay later on so it is a closed answer so it is a reasonable answer but approximately he has to pay 48 payments so see you in the next video uh, i know the division is very difficult task but in order to do the division perfectly you must know you must know how to add you must know how to subtract and also you must know how to multiply means the times table is the key to understand the division so please study the times table See you in the next video bye bye